Bonjour, bonjour, shop of my world. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io and in this video we have the green hoodie so we're gonna do some coding. Okay, so do you have maybe a fashion brand or any type of product that you're selling where you need to add sizes to your product page, then this is the video for you because I'm going to walk you through exactly how to add sizing to your product page. So as for size chart speaking, currently we're going to go from this where there is no size chart and we're going to bring it all the way to this where there is a pop-up size chart, which is much nicer in my opinion. Yes, it's going to be a little bit basic for some people, but at least I'm going to walk you through it. You can do it yourself after you follow this step by step. There is also a step by step code link in the description below. So click on that and you have the codes all written down there as well. And let's just jump into it right now. All right, so I'm on my online demo store right here. Let's see how it currently looks. Close that. Um, so for example, we're going to do the camera film. And as you see, there is no uh, size chart on here. There is no different sizes and uh, there is no way for me to see the different sizes. Now, I could put a little table in here where I, I explain the size chart, but I don't think that's very, very elegant. So let's let's do it in a better way. First and foremost, I'm going to go to online store right here on the left. Uh, and when this opens, this is my live theme. I'm going to make sure to create a backup by clicking on actions and doing duplicates. Uh, I can't underline the importance of this enough. I say this in all my coding video, but you really, really have to do this. Work on the duplicate theme. That way, if you make an error, it's not all lost and you can just keep, keep going. Okay, in the meantime, while this is being duplicated, we can go to pages right here and we're going to click on it. I have a couple of pages already set up, but we are going to add a new page by clicking on add a new page. Here, we're going to name the page size chart. Now, name it exactly as it is in the documents below in the description, um, because the naming convention can sometimes be really important. And I believe that in this case, it will be. So size chart like this, um, and then we're going to build our size chart. So here we're gonna say men's uh, shirt, and that's gonna be the sizes. We're gonna click on insert table. And then we're going to say, um, actually, we're going to do a row below that, insert a row below, and we're going to say um, small, and then we're going to insert another row below, medium, and another one uh, for large. And then once here, we're going to insert a column um, that we're going to say the chest um, I'm going to start is 30, the chest is going to be 36 to 38 inches, is it inches? Um, I don't know, 38 to 45, I have no idea about sizing, and 45 to 139 inches. I have no idea how this works. So, I mean, that's completely wrong. I, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna insert, um, go back to the top here, I'm gonna insert another column after, um, to say um, the neck, for example. And you, you start getting the point here, uh, 22, 25, 23, 45, 45. Basically, you can build your own a little table like that. What you can also do is you can have maybe a picture made by your um, designer and add the picture of your size chart in here. You get the point. Once that is done, we're going to click a save. And one last little detail before you leave, uh, after we save, you want to make sure this is set to visible, so not as hidden. This page needs to be visible. All right, once that is done, we're going to go back to our online store right here, and our duplication should be ready, and it is ready. All right, we're good to go do some code. We're going to click on actions, and we're going to do edit the code. Okay, so right here on your left, you're going to scroll to the sections directory, and you're going to go to product dash template or something similarly worded product dash template section all right this is my product dash template a section all right so i want to add my little chart above the add to cart button you can put it on different places on your product template but i'm going to go for the add to cart so the easiest way to do that is command f on a mac control f on windows and do uh, maybe uh, add is it gonna type submit so this is a button the type of it is submit and it does add to cart. So here is my add to cart button. That's the beginning of it. That's the end of my add to cart button code. Um, I'm going to add it right above it. So uh, I added the code in the documents. I'm going to paste it here. So make sure you check out the document. We're pasting it. Um, 
and then I'm making it a little bit more pretty. So it says basically if the product has options with a size, with word size in the options, and you're going to do the pop-up of the size chart page that we built a little bit earlier. Um, and we're also going to name that a C size chart. So we're going to save that right here. Once that is saved, we're going to go to the very bottom right here, right before the schema starts. And right here, we're going to paste that little diff that we have in step three of our doc. So we're going to copy that. I have the dog open here to my left, that's why. And then we're going to just paste that pretty piece of code right here. It basically gives us some styling. Now, ideally, your styling shouldn't be in your HTML, it should be in your CSS files. But for the ease of this video, we're just going to put it here. So we click it again. By the way, if you want to change that button, you know, you can change the border here, you can change the background, background color, the padding, the max width, and the margins if you really want to, if you know what you're doing, that would be here. All right, and then we're going to scroll all the way down to the asset directory here on the left, and we're going to look for the JavaScript file, um, which is called team.js. We click on it to open. This is all the JavaScript of your entire store. And then for the ease of it, we're going to go all the way down at the bottom of that file and we have beautiful 75,000 lines of code that's why it's very annoying to find a bug in a code because it can be anywhere in all of those lines but that's the total side note and um, we're going to paste that little Java, javascript snippet that i provided in the document in step number five so right here we're going to do copy and we're going to paste and then I also like to uh, give that a little bit of commenting so another dev knows what they're looking at. Uh, chart pop up pro. That way when another dev comes in because I got hit by a bus, um, they can just look at this and then immediately see, okay, that's, that's the little JavaScript for that uh, product page. So once that is done, you can save. You're not obliged to put the little comment there. You can just copy paste whatever was written in point number five. And then normally, depending on which version you're working on of stores, because I mean, there's a lot of different variables here, it should be working. So let's go check. we we'll go back to online store. We go to um, right here. That's the one that we last saved. So we go to actions preview. We're going to close this to avoid all confusion. We click on camera film. Now there is a problem is that this is not a pop-up. That's not really what I had in mind. So we're going to have to add some additional code. Again, in your case, it might already work. That depends if you already have installed magic pop-up. Uh, if you haven't, well, you might need some extra work. So we go back to the online store and we go back to our version we were working on. We click actions and we click edit code. And then we're going to go back into the assets section all the way to the bottom right here. And we're going to go to team. Uh, we can do a CSS right here, a CSS dot liquid. And we're going to go all the way to the bottom, all the way to the bottom. And we're going to create some spacing there. And we're going to paste um, a piece of code that I've provided the link to the GitHub. So just copy everything that you see of that piece of code and paste it into here. So we're going to do control and we're going to paste. And as you see, all of that just got added. And that's basically all of the styling for the pop-up. So vendor specific styling for magic pop-up. And that's a lot of code, as you can see, coming from that GitLab library. That's fantastic. I think um, it is from a pop up up a drap btux by tux. Thanks a lot for that. Then we click on save right here. And then we need to do one last little thing. If the team has vendor.js right here on the left, um, you click on that, you open that, and, there, and then you're going to paste again a big piece of GitHub code, code that I've provided in the, um, in the document. And it's, it's pretty big. So we go here at vendor, we go at the very last line. Now this is a bit confusing because Okay, in the very last line, I created some extra lines and then I just control paste and there's this huge block of JavaScript code that's going to appear 
um, that I added. So there you go. That huge line has been added. So then you click on save. This is if you have the vendor.js right here. So you click on save. And normally once that is done, your little size pop-up chart should work like a charm. So let's go back to online store right here. Um, we're gonna click on preview. We're excited. And there we have our size chart right above the add to cart. And if I click on it, boom, there is my size chart exactly like I wanted that. Now I can still add some more HTML lines. You can add breaks um, to your, your, to create a little bit of space right here. Actually, let's go do that right now. Um, go back in online store just to make it a little bit prettier. We go back into the code, we're back, and here's still the product template is still open. So we go back into the product template, command F to find the add to cart button. It's right here. This is the, the section that we pasted before, and I'm just going to add a BR, uh, and maybe even a second BR. So these are line breaks, and it's going to create a spacing. It's a hack. I'm telling you right now, this is not the proper way to do it. We're gonna save it right here. And then we go back to the online store. We do copy of the debut. Make sure you check the right one. You click on preview. Um, you go on camera film. There we go. See my size chart. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that fantastic? Now, also, I explain in the documents what happens if you don't have the vendor.js in uh, the side of your code there in the assets folder. So make sure to check that out because it's just a, you copy a piece of code somewhere else. It's no big deal. And then finally, I also explain what if you have different charts for different products. Uh, it's just an easy link. You just follow that as well. Anyway, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this little green session with the hoodie. We do coding videos every Thursdays. Every Wednesday is a strategy how to make you more money. And every Tuesday, we review a cool app that could potentially help you solve a whole bunch of problems. So that's it. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out the other videos. It would mean the world to me if you click on another video and check it out. I'm trying to get that rate, that metric up so that YouTube see that I provide value. And I hopefully agree that you think I provide value. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Thank you so much. I love you. I see you in another video. Bye.